Have you ever pondered about the safety of your own home? Imagine it suddenly becoming a target. This tragically became a reality for the people of Deir al-Bala, a city in the central Gaza Strip. In a span of 24 hours, 30 Palestinians lost their lives to Israeli airstrikes. These were not attacks on military installations or known conflict zones. These strikes were aimed at areas believed to be safe by local authorities. Homes that once provided shelter and warmth were reduced to rubble under the crushing force of these airstrikes. Even places of worship were not spared, as evidenced by the bombing of a mosque. The echoes of the explosion, a sound that will haunt the survivors for a lifetime, are a chilling reminder of the fragility of safety in times of conflict. The Gaza government's media office proclaimed the Israeli occupation fully responsible for this heinous massacre. When tragedy strikes, the world watches. But what happens when the world turns a blind eye? In the aftermath of the Deir al-Bala tragedy, it seems that the world's attention has been diverted elsewhere. The media office of Gaza's government has pointed a finger at the international community, including the U.S. administration, stating that they shoulder shared responsibility for the continued campaign against Palestinians in Gaza. This act, they argue, is a blatant violation of international law. But where is the outcry? Where is the intervention? The United Nations, often the beacon of hope in such dire situations, has stated the harsh reality. It is impossible to create a safe zone for civilians inside Gaza. No place to hide, no place to run. The international response, or rather the lack of it, is alarming. The world watches, the world waits, but the world is silent. This silence, this inaction, is a tacit endorsement of the ongoing violence. The international community seems to be at a loss on how to respond, leaving Palestinians without refuge. As the dust settles in Deir al-Bala, the question remains, when will the world stop merely watching and start acting? This act of violence is not an isolated incident. It is part of a wider, ongoing conflict. The Israeli-Palestinian struggle has been marked by a devastating loss of life and displacement. The Euromed Human Rights Monitor has painted a grim picture of the situation in Gaza. Since October 7, approximately 110,000 Palestinians have been reported killed, missing, or injured. In a place where homes and familiar streets once stood, now lies a landscape scarred by conflict. About 90% of Gaza's population has been displaced, leaving a chilling void in their wake. Moreover, Amnesty International has shed light on the harrowing use of unlawful lethal force by Israel against Palestinians in the West Bank. Their report speaks to a chilling disregard for Palestinian lives that extends beyond the borders of Gaza. In 2023 alone, more than 500 Palestinians were killed in the West Bank. To say these numbers are staggering would be an understatement. Each figure represents a life cut short, a family torn apart, a community in mourning. The question remains, when will this cycle of violence end? 